Page 26, I've been wishing. Let's look it over and go through our process for learning a new piece of music. Actually, it's my process for learning a new piece of music. You can have your own or whatever. Anyway, first I'd like to look it over. I see it's about a page and a half long. Okay. Treble and bass clef. 4-4 four, four time signature, so there's four counts in a measure and a quarter note gets count. All right. Now I see quarter notes and quarter rests and half notes and whole notes. I think we can handle all that. The hands are playing at the same time, so I want to take one hand at a time first to make sure I understand what each hand is doing, and then I try and put them together, and then it all falls apart, and it's a fun time. So right hand, thumb on C here, and that puts the hand here. You don't need any other finger numbers for the right hand. So they give you a finger number there at the top of page 27, you don't need it. Just play the F on whatever finger is on it and it happens to be fourth finger. Here. But at the beginning, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one, two, three. Just make sure you lift up for the rest. Dotted half note, remember it's the same as three quarter notes. Just memorize that. And that doesn't matter what the time signature is. So if you know how long a quarter note gets, this gets three of those, so three counts. Now left hand, now at the beginning you have an E and a G here, G in this position. So it's one, two, remember I, that those fingers are down and I'm lowering the whole hand down. Don't hold the hand still, I'm trying to use the fingers. Lower the hand down gently. Try and get them down at the same time if you can. One, two, three, four. One, two, and then an F and a G. One. I know they're not exactly vertical like that, but they can't be because they overlap. So they have to make them a little off, play them at the same time. Second line. One, two, three. One, two, three. For the most part, that's the left hand. Put the hands together. And again, when I first put the hands together, I'm just trying to figure out which fingers are going down at the same time and how the hands coordinate. Mm -hmm. So I hesitate, I don't care, I just want, at the beginning, we got these notes down. And again, so it's one, two, three, four, one, two. That's by itself. And as you're holding that down, you place that. So the second measure is one, two, three. There's a little bit off here. But one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Oh, that's interesting. The last measure, the first line. Here, and then this is by itself, and then B3, and then B4 that comes up, and that's by itself again. So there's two counts where that F is by itself. One, two, three, four. Now here, they're not the same notes, so be careful. One, two, two, one, two, three, four. Page 27, see I haven't really done much in page 27 because if you can read the notes and rhythms, you ought to be able to figure it out. I don't want to spoon feed you the notes. I expect you to be able to read the music and know the names of the notes and all that junk. I'll cover that in the method book. So, top of page 27. To, these are whole notes now in the left hand. So, we'll so, I'll put the heads together and then I go back through the trouble spots and I try and work those out. And then I go through it all carefully and get rid of any hesitation. So, it's a steady beat throughout. I keep it slow, but it's steady beat. And then after that, I think about the articulation. I don't give a lot. You got slur phrases actually in the second line on page 26. That's a musical thought, a musical sentence. It's a phrase. For us, it means we're going to lift up before and after it. So at the end of the first line, you're here in the right hand. When I go to the second line, I'm not going to connect and I'm going to lift up. It's like taking a breath. So I cut the dotted half just a little bit short so I can. So just a little bit of silent. And then when I get to the end of the line, when I repeat, it doesn't matter. It's the same note I have to lift up. But when I go to page 27, again, before I play the F, I'm going to lift up. Just a little, It's like taking a breath. Now on top of page 27, the first line. 
that's one sentence according to what they're saying and then another sentence so in the last measure that first line those two G's I'm gonna lift up so it's there's a little more silence because you get silence anytime you get a repeated note I want a little more silence because of the phrase so it's a so I'm lift I'm cutting the first G a little bit short so I can lift up it's like taking a quick breath so the starting at the first line again here like it's phrasing and then at the end of the second line again I lift up before I go on it's the end of a phrase yeah last measure the third line on page 27 you're here before I go play the last note I'm gonna lift up so there's a little silence there because it starts a phrase and I before and after a phrase I lift up so it's a, so there's, it sounds like a phrase left hand I'm just gonna try and connect it all now, there's hardly anything marked for the left hand, but I would connect it. They have the slur, like on page 26. Like it's a phrase, it gets into interpretation. I can lift up before and after it, the left hand, just like the, I can lift both hands the same. It makes it easier. That's fine. You can do that. Or I can disregard the phrasing in the left hand because it's the melodies in the right hand. And I can say, I'm going to connect the left hand all the way through. Well, if I do that, when I get to the end of the second line there on page 26 here, and I want to go to page 27, that means I'm going to connect the left hand, but I'm going to lift up in the right here. So I lift up here, I keep that down. So to do that, then start with the second line there. Going on, lift up in the right hand. But I, I kept that down. So. That's interpreting the music, how you want to do. At the end of the second line on page 27, here, I'd connect all that. That, that's not a phrase, that's a slur. And they're telling you to connect those notes. That's what a slur does. It tells you to connect the notes. See, a phrase, that longer one, you may or may not connect the notes in a phrase. It depends on the music. But in a slur, you connect the notes. However, you don't always lift up before and after a slur. So here, I would connect this left hand. It's like the page 27, the second line, the last two measures, you're here. the right hand because it's the end of a phrase but I'm going to keep the left hand down. So I'm going to connect. That's interpreting the music. I could lift up, make it easier, but I prefer to connect the left hand. Depends on how you choose to interpret the music. Now once I have an idea of the articulation then I think about the dynamics. Mezzo forte, MF at the beginning, that's the melody, which is the right hand, moderately loud, whatever you think that is. These chords need to be soft. So I'm putting sort of, you know, I'm putting more weight in the right hand and the left hand's light. keep the left hand in the background throughout the whole piece. They don't give you any other dynamics but that one. Well again that gets back into interpreting the music. Once you get to know it and you, you have the mechanics out of the way and you start getting into the music itself, you can adjust that dynamic a little. You're in that area of moderately loud. But you can get a little louder and softer if you feel it that way. Typically at the end of a phrase you'd come down a little bit. I mean, you do. When you talk, you come down, to, so the end of the second line on page 26, you're here. You come down, you get a little softer there. But then when you go on, whether you repeat or not, go back up to moderately loud. So you can shape the phrases so you can get a little louder and softer in the phrases as you feel it. Then we talk about the speed. 
Well, they give you happily. Happily is not a speed, but a lot of times in music, instead of the speed, the tempo, they give you the mood. And from that, you figure out the tempo. Happily. Play it happily. And however fast that is, um, I don't know how much of a hurry you are to be happily, but it's just a happy song. Hmm? Please don't copy me. You get into the music and you make it yours. What can you feel in this music? And remember the natural accents. One, two, three, four. One, two. Beginning is not bad because that's all you're playing. And the one, two, three, four. One, two. So two. One, two, three, four. One. So one, two. Feel the natural accents on these. Let's play this together very slowly to double check the notes and the rhythms. I'm not going to do any dynamics. Well, there are no dynamics, but still, I'm going to play both hands about the same. I will do the repeat at the bottom of page 26, so we actually play those two lines twice before we go to page 27. So I'll give us four counts. So let's just check to make sure you have the right notes and the right rhythms. You should play what I'm playing when I play it. And this is after you've learned it. No hesitations or nothing. One, two, ready, go. One, rest. Repeat, rest, rest, two, three, four, rest, two, two, four, one, two, three, four. Four, one, two, three, four, off.